The good news is that civil rights bill did get passed by Congress. The bad news for JFK was that he was assassinated by the time that bill got passed through Congress. Now, um, to give JFK more credit, the 24th Amendment was passed in the following year, which is something that his administration did kind of quietly under the table help get uh, passed through Congress and the states. And what it did, excuse me, what the 24th Amendment did was eliminate poll taxes so that you didn't have to pay a tax in order to vote, which helped eliminate that type of discrimination. But again, that happens after JFK is assassinated. And the Civil Rights Bill of 19... 64 is passed after JFK is assassinated. Basically, Lyndon Johnson uses JFK's memory to get it passed. What it does is eliminate segregation in public places. Now, that doesn't mean just government-owned places. It also means movie theaters, privately owned places like movie theaters, uh, restaurants, hotels, those kind of things. Now, would JF, JFK have been more aggressive with civil rights after the March on Washington, after his civil rights address? We'll never know, because literally a few months later, he was shot and killed. Um, but I'll let you decide for yourself if you think that JFK was a good civil rights president.